Hello everyone and welcome to Power Pages Tips. My name is Nicholas Hayduk and this is tip number 260, Diagnostic Logs. In tip number 77, I talked about troubleshooting the white screen of death. One of the debugging techniques was enabling diagnostic logs, which is something we've used a few times recently to solve issues for clients. So I thought I'd dive a bit more into that. When you get the white screen of death, disabling custom errors is probably the quicker option, as the white screen of death page will be replaced with a more detailed error page, including a stat trace. But what if your error doesn't happen when the page loads? Recently we've seen this on specific pages of a list. Perhaps the first page of the list loads, but maybe the second or third generates an error. This probably means there's something about the data on that particular page causing issues. But unfortunately, disabling custom errors won't provide any more details. We've also seen errors when a user attempts to reset their password on the forgot password page. An unknown error message is displayed after entering the email address. In both cases, enabling diagnostic logging revealed the underlying issue. To use this feature, you need the connection string for an Azure Blob Storage account. Then, in the Power Platform Admin Center, go to your site's settings page and click Site Actions. Then click Enable Diagnostics Logs. Choose a retention period and paste in your connection string. Soon after, you'll start seeing detailed logs appear in your Blob Storage. Hopefully the logs will give you enough details to figure out your issues and avoid a support ticket with Microsoft. For those working with multiple clients, it's helpful to know that the Azure Blob Storage account does not need to be in the same tenant as the Power Pages site. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found the Power Pages tip number 260 on diagnostic logs useful.